Okay. What up, YouTube? You know it's your boy, it's Carter TV. And I've been kind of thinking about this for a little minute, right? At what age? At what age do, do you say a toxic relationship is not for you? At what age you say that? I mean, you know, opinions, comments, you know, state your mind on how you feel about toxic relationships. You know, I feel like everybody has been in at least one out of majority of the relationships, at least one, maybe twice, maybe three times. But, you know, there's always that one toxic relationship that make you realize you don't want that toxic shit no more. You feel me? You got guys that shoot up the crib, shoot up where you at, pull up to your job and embarrassing you. You got girls that pop tires, break windows, fight your baby mothers. You know, you got dudes calling from jail, expecting you to get them out, expecting you to hold them down. When they come home, they beating the first nigga up that smile at you. You got females that's blocking you on all social media sites, blocking your phone number. And then when they block you, right, this is this is shit that get me. When the female blocks any type of connection to her, any type of way or form of getting to her, they still expect you to reach out. I don't understand it. You better email me. You better call me from your mama's cell phone. Like, I'm lost right now. You feel me? Like, you blocked me. You blocked my phone number. You blocked the 16 text free app numbers I done sent you. Like, why do you want this toxicness? Like, why do you want it? Why do you want me to choke you out but then fuck you like it's no tomorrow? And then argue with you right afterwards? Like, what kind of shit is that? What kind of shit is that? Like, when does a toxic relationship end? When do they end? Like, what causes you to be toxic in a relationship? That's another important question. What caused you and this other person that you're dating to be toxic to each other? What caused it? Is it the sex? Is it the way this person cares for you? Is it the fact this person got money and the money controlling you? Is it the fact that this person was there and it's like, once they leave you, that's all you know? Like, what it is that caused y'all to join these toxic-ass relationships? Like, I'm confused, That I need to know. I had my shit of a toxic relationship. I don't want it. It's not healthy. It's stressful. Um... The only thing that was good for, from it was honestly the sex. And that's mostly 80% of a toxic relationship is the sex. When you think about it, is the sex. Um, the sex wasn't on porn star level, but it was fair. You feel me? You know, but that's 80% of a toxic relationship is sex. You know, maybe this person could do something for you that no other woman or no other man can't. But that's the reason why you keep going back. You can find that elsewhere. You just gotta train the person how you wanna be how you wanna be sex with. Some people be into all types of shit when they involve sex. You know what I'm saying? You could train a new person that you're dealing with. It don't hurt to speak your mind on it. You speak your mind on everything else. Speak your mind on the fact that this relationship is fucking toxic and you need to get out of it. It's not nice. It's not healthy. Toxic relationships put you down a wrong path. It really, the thing about toxic relationships, you know what I'm saying, is it really, it really fuck up a good judgment. It really fuck up your judgment, especially when you're not dealing with that person no more and you're moving on to somebody else. You feel me? It, it'll it make you really look at the next person that you're dealing with different. You know what I'm saying? This person could be genuine, want you. This person could genuinely want you, care for you, and the whole nine. But you so traumatized by your toxic relationship you think this person out to get you because he nice or she's smiling at you or she buying you shit or he cooking for you you think that's you think this person is trying to get you because they too nice they too nice you so used to a motherfucker yelling screaming smacking you up a bitch fighting you biting you kicking you out throwing your clothes all over the place beating your car up that's the type of shit you used to until you come across somebody who ain't on that type of time. Now it's like, how do I respond to this? How do I respond? 
This person is so nice. They love me. They care for me. They sex me so good. They cook for me. They give me money when I ask for it. They help me take care of bills. They give me somebody to talk to when I'm in the wrong place. How do I respond to this? Only way I know how to respond is to be nasty because that's what I got from my last relationship. That's not fair. It's not fair. This toxic shit got to stop somewhere. It needs to stop. Toxic relationships bring the worst out of people. I kid you not. It bring the worst out of people. You know what I'm saying? It really bring the worst out of people. Like, at a point in time in your relationship when you know it's getting toxic, you know you got to tell yourself you got to leave. You got to leave. It's time to go. We've been breaking up on and off for all day. We had sex. We wake up the next morning. We all peaches and cream until my phone rang. Or we all peaches and cream until I got to go to work. Or we all peaches and cream until my mom is calling. Or we all peaches and cream until my baby moms want me to get the kids. Now you want to have an argument about that. We all peaches and cream until your baby father want to come over here unexpectedly in a trench coat. Like with no clothes on. Talking about, yo, open the door. I got the bottle and handy. Like this toxic shit has to stop. It has to stop. It really do. You know what I'm saying? Like, for all those who had they shared toxic relationships, you know what I'm saying? Drop your opinion on it. At what point in time do you say this toxic shit got to end for you? It got to end for you. I'm at this age now. I can't do no toxic relationship. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm grown. I want to do I want to do grown people things. I want to have genuine arguments. And I want to be able to get back after the argument. I want to resolve whatever we arguing about. Let's fix it. Let's not. Let's not. Go days without talking. Let's not go weeks without seeing each other. And then all of a sudden, we think we've broken up just because we haven't spoken. Then we finally speak, but I done moved on already. Like, no. Like, let's sit down and work this out. Let's not call this the toxic relationship. Let's call this a healthy relationship. Let's work through some shit. You know what I'm saying? Help me understand you, and I'll help you understand me. Right or right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we 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 gotta make we gotta we gotta go back to the time where toxic relationship is not where it's at. This generation that we living in now, toxic relationship is, is it seems like the most important relationship right now. It's like, if you're not toxic, I don't want you. It's like, what kind of shit is this? I remember when people wanted to get married right after high school. You know what I'm saying? Or the first person you had a kid with was the person you was going to spend your life with. That's how people used to be. Not all people, but that's how some people used to be. Or like, you know, when you had some guys that really stayed with a girl because he had a kid with her, it's because he felt like, I want my child to have both parents. Some dudes was like, I stuck around in bed with you because you had my kid. Or some women felt the same way, vice versa. Like I stuck around because I got your I got your kids, so you married me, so like that's why I stuck around. Like, why why put yourself in that predicament? Why put yourself in that type of situation? Like, this generation we living in, it's the it's the generation of the toxic. It's the generation of the toxic. It truly is. Toxic relationship is the 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 rate is at a 90 percentile right now. You got people in toxic ass relationships going back and forth with each other the whole week than being a, a married couple by by Saturday morning. Like shit didn't just happen Friday night. Is it? I'm not understanding. At what point in, 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 the, in your relationship status do you say a toxic relationship ain't for me? I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry, sister. I can't do that. I can't tolerate that. I'm going to have to excuse myself from this. And don't talk this person ever again. Eventually, they're going to pop back up and want to see you. But come on. Come on. At what point, at what age do you say a toxic relationship is not what I want? Please. Share, like, speak on it in the comments. Let me hear your thoughts. It's called a TV. I'm out.
That's crazy, baby.